Time to finish this. Oh yeah, Luna. You wanted to watch the game too? It's been a while since I made it here. I'm probably gonna be a bit rusty. I love how mysterious and ominous they made this place. It's fantastic how the game can tell a story by not having any dialogue, just with atmosphere and setting. It's something I really appreciate in games like this. As a kid, it really played with your imagination. Because your imagination would fill the gaps where the story would have no dialogue, you'd pretty much imagine whatever you wanted. What is it with? I'm having a hard time controlling this right now. Maybe I'm just not good at that bonus level. Because as, as long as I'm out here, left and right works perfectly fine. I felt like when I wasn't that bonus level, I barely had any control over what I was doing, but I think I was just being bad at it. Whoa! The epic showdown! between Sonic and Knuckles for the very first time. And look at that mural on the back, isn't that interesting? Like some sort of ancient prophecy featuring Metal Sonic? I wonder if it's supposed to represent Metal Sonic on the right, or if it's supposed to represent Super Sonic. Fighting Dr. Eggman's robot or something. I guess that's really up to your interpretation. And that's when Dr. Robotnik betrays Knuckles. Jesus. Now we know what Knuckles' a skeleton looked like. You okay, buddy? He's like, hey, watch this. <laughs> okay, let's go after Dr. Robotnik. In Sky Sanctuary Zone. Oddly enough, the very first time I saw this level, it was in Sonic Generations. I'd never made it this far back then. Oh, and we can see the Death Egg taking off and releasing all the egg robots. See what I meant about the game telling a story just through visuals with no dialogues? Whoa! <laughs> At least the game won't let you die there. There's like this updraft that forbids you from falling down the hole. Okay, Knuckles, get some rest. I've got this. Says the guy who's probably going to die a million times in this level. So, the idea behind this sp specific level, if I remember correctly, this this is like a sacred area that was never, ever um, conquered by Dr. Robotnik. So we'll make it to, to a certain point where you'll see, like, all the animal inhabitants of this place, like, running away from these egg robots. It's pretty cool. You'll see what I mean when I, when I make it to that part. Plus, it's nice seeing these uh, egg robots make their first appearance. They ended up being pretty important in Sonic Mania. For anyone not familiar with what I mean, I meant to say that in Sonic Mania, these there's a group of these egg robots who um, get mutated by the Phantom Ruby, and they all get different personalities and abilities. And they're called the Hard Boiled Heavies. Whoa! And here we have Mecha Sonic piloting the. What is that called again? I'm trying to remember. The Eggmobile. There you go. From Sonic One. That was a. That was like um, a reference to Sonic One's very first boss battle. 
There's gonna be another throwback to um, a boss battle from Sonic 2 very soon, I believe. It's been so long since I made it to this part, it's pretty cool seeing it again. I wonder if I could just go here and like... Is that some sort of shortcut? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Fire shield, okay. Whoa! I'm kind of scared to use the fire shield because I don't know what I'm going into. Whoa! Uh, whoa no, 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 no! Well, now would have been a good time to use it. <laughs> it's been so long since I made it here, I feel like I'm playing the game blind. I wonder if I can skip, like, up there. Yeah, like this. Maybe. There you go. It's so strange streaming when I'm all by myself like this because essentially I'm talking to myself just like when I was trying to record Let's Plays back in the day. And let me tell you Recording Let's Plays was not my forte. It's definitely not my cup of tea. See, this is a reference to the bus from Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2. Though, I do remember it... I do remember it being a lot harder than this. Am I... Am I mistaking this boss for something else? Because I do remember the boss of Metropolis having like little grab, like um, rotating orbs around it. But I'm not sure it wasn't. E it was exactly like this. Maybe I'm getting it mistaken with something else. Or maybe the idea is that you face off against the very first boss from Sonic 1, and then you face off against the last regular boss from Sonic 2. Because after Metropolis, you make it to, um... Flying... Is that Flying Fortress? Wing Fortress, there you go. You make it to Wing Fortress, and there's no, like, legit, old-school, normal, vanilla... <laughs> so many qualifications just for that thing I'm trying to explain. Dr. Robotnik boss. You get to this weird room at the end of Wing Fortress where um, there's like... Am I... Am I remembering it wrong? I remember that the room was the boss in Flying Fortress. You have like Dr. Robotnik at a control console and you're in this room where like the whole room is basically trying to kill you. Pretty sure that's what it was. Been a while since I played Sonic 2 as well now that I think about it. Whoa! Okay, I guess we're going down here. I really should remember that these plat that these bridges break when you try to cross them. Oh, see that's what I meant. All the animals running away from that building being chased by an egg robot. I'm starting to wonder if they were called egg robo or egg robots. I really can't remember for the life of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wanna go up there? Oh. Oh no. Is this gonna be a problem? I guess not. Alright. Time to face off against Mecha Sonic. I'll give him that, he definitely has a cool looking design. He sure looks threatening. Though, his abilities leave a lot to be desired, to be desired, don't they? Reminds me of that Mecha Sonic fight, or um, I don't even know. Silver Sonic? What, what's that boss called at the end of Sonic 2? The, the like, the gray metallic looking Sonic that you fight. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Crushed between the edge of the screen and his back spikes. Oh, I guess he's tougher than I remembered. Credit to him for that. Whoa. The angle to attack him is tricky, because I think if you just jump on his head, you take damage, right? Whoa. I keep falling for that. I'm not too sure what his face is supposed to be. Instead of having actual eyes, it looks like his face is just a visor? I'm not sure. Kind of like a... Um, I like to imagine he's got just one glowing eye in the center. Kind of like the Zaku from Mobile Suit Gundam. Is he gonna do the thing again? Yes, okay. I can't remember what comes next. It really does feel like I'm playing this blind. Oh, it's the death egg, of course. Ah, Sky Sanctuary. Getting destroyed. And it was such a beautiful area, too. Oh yeah, the death egg. Okay, it's coming back to me now. So unlike Sonic 2, where the death egg is just the boss battle, this one is a proper death egg level. Huh. You know, I think I only ever played this level once. Whoa! But I did remember these things falling, at the very least. Mm, nope. Oh, right. Getting hit by the spikes from underneath, even though they're like side sideways facing spikes. Not a good feeling, I'll tell you that. Oh boy. Oh, this is welcoming. Jesus. Don't want anything to do with that. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, I was stuck there. It's a conveyor belt. Took me a while to realize what was happening. Uh, whoa. Oh, well, this place is very hospitable. I don't know what I thought spin dashing there. I didn't even know what I was spin dashing into. Like, it was a terrible decision. Hmm. Wait. Am I expected to just jump up there? No. Huh. Where am I going? What the? Oh. Thanks, Tails. Actually showing me what I'm supposed to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this place. Oh my gosh. Okay, rings. I get so anxious when I don't have any rings. Oh yeah, these things, they're kind of like roller coasters. They take you all over the place. <laughs> All right. So what now? I keep expecting I'm going to leave one of these sections and I'm going to be walking on the ceiling with like inverted gravity, but maybe that's not where it happens. I really wish I would have practiced this game more, but like I was saying in my last stream, 
I mostly practiced Sonic 3, not the end Knuckles. And now I'm starting to regret my decision. Whoa! Oof! Okay, this isn't so bad. They, they emulated this section in Sonic Forces, strangely enough, where you're standing on a conveyor belt like this and it takes you on a ride, and you go across these electrified platforms. Whoa, what? Oh no, it's really like Forces, I should have stayed on that. Sometimes it starts to go backwards. Every I think every time I jump, it starts going a different direction. So that's how you control what it does. Whoa! Okay, this is interesting. Where am I expected to go? Jesus. Oh, I'm activating switches. Now I gotta go back to the other side and activate these ones. Whoa! At least the ones you activated don't like become undone when you hit them again because otherwise I'd be here for five hours. Whoa! Enough! Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What a mess! Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, they're all red, so it should be open now, right? Please let me go. Whew! Ah, wasn't that something? It's weird because since there's no one in chat, I'm tempted to remain very quiet as I'm playing this. You know, just playing it by myself for fun. But then I'm thinking, if I upload this as a stream archive, I should probably say something, otherwise it's not gonna be much of an interesting archive to watch. It would just be quiet gameplay footage. But I can't really think of anything to say when I'm by myself like this. I don't know how Let's Players do it. Oh, hello! Look at you coming right out of 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'm sorry, Sonic. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh no! Rings! Whew! I don't know why I jumped into that, sp that spike. Everything was perfectly fine. Oh no. No, 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 no. Jesus! Whoa! Okay. This is certainly a lot harder than I remember. Oh no, okay. I thought there would be no rings between here and the boss battle. I understandably got a little freaked out. No, I need my rings! Oh no. Well, as long as he does that, it's fine. But then he switches to this mess of a pattern. Oh. Well, if that happens, it's of course gonna be a big problem. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. I'm almost embarrassed to show this. But, hey. That's what it feels like playing a game blind. Even though I'm not playing it blind, I'm just not very good at the end knuckles section. Wow! Oof, thank you, Tails. You're a real lifesaver. Okay, let's wait. No! Woo!
Oh no, I want to go through. No, mm, no, 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 no. Woo! Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, scary. And to think that's not even the big boss of this area. So what are we doing now? You know what I'm really afraid of? This place reminds me a bit of Metropolis from Sonic 2, and Metropolis, for some reason, was three acts instead of just one. Uh, instead of just two, sorry. Which um, really makes me concerned that Death Egg will be the same. Whoa! There were goodies there, I want them. Let's go right. Whoa. Well, that was a very poor decision on my part. Why did I jump? I wonder if it's one of these situations where I, I'll have to go through all the paths. Like now I'm in the right path, but maybe I'll have to do all of them. Whoa! Okay. Oh, there must have been a secret up there. What if... Oh, well the door closed. Never mind. Jesus. This level is sadistic, let me tell you that. Oh, I remember the bus. Okay. See how the level had this weird pl w this weird part where the gravity was all messed up and I was walking on the ceiling? The the bus of this level has everything to do with gravity. If I remember correctly, to beat him you need to keep switching gravity between like upwards and Backwards, well, up and down. Hmm. I want rings. I'm gonna have to survive this part without a single ring. Jesus! No! Eeh! Rings, please. Oh. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this place. Oh, okay. Understood. This is so weird. Very creative level. Whoa! You know what I would have liked to play? Maybe sometimes, sometime I should play Sonic Mania. I played Mania a lot more than I did Knuckles. That could be interesting too. Could certainly be a lot more chill. Here I am calling this a chill stream, yet I'm freaking out because I'm so not used to this part of the game. Okay, why? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. So what I wanted to do was to see if there was anyone, if, if there was anything beyond those spikes. But if I try to go to the right, I get stuck in the elevator again. If you can call that an elevator. Okay, roller coaster time again. Weirdly enough, I remember hearing someone say, not too long ago, that these elevator sections were optional, but I don't really know optional in what sense. Like they can be skipped, I imagine? I guess, I guess so, because when you're going around like that, you always see like the scenery around and it looks, it looks like an area you could properly explore and walk into, like it's not like you're going over a death pit. At least, the ones we saw so far. Maybe this one. Oh no, not even. There's a floor down there. What's the point of this fancy... Wee, 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 wee part? Like, it's just... 
for fun. I don't know. Whoa! This freaking thing, it moves so fast. I hope we're close to the boss. To be honest, I'm finishing this because it would feel bad to leave it unfinished. But I'm realizing that, like, for, um, for having played both Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, I enjoy Sonic 3 a lot, but the and Knuckles part? I'm not so sure I like it that much. Maybe it's just because I, I need more practice. Okay, here it is. The gravity bus I mentioned. So you can go and walk on the ceiling, and then you need to make, make it so the bombs will hit the bus. Like so. It's it's a weird boss. Drop some bombs, please. Thank you. It really doesn't do much aside from dropping these bombs. It's kind of strange. And it's not like they can damage you if you're in the elevator, either. So... It's kind of an underwhelming boss, isn't it? Whoa! Never mind! Never mind! The freaking spikes, I should have thought about that. Oh no. The perfectly angled spikes. Oh. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, my rings. Oh dear. I never should it I never should have said it was an underwhelming boss. I'm going to pay for that. Go for it! Yeah! Eek! Come back. Oh, this is nice. There you go. Whoa! I jumped into it. Well, at least the game gives you rings. I guess ever since Sonic 2, where the final boss, you have to do it entirely without any rings, they kind of learned their lesson. That it was a little bit too harsh, you know? Hmm. Oh, whoa, what did I do? No. No, I need that ring. Oh, I could use this elevator too. At least we'll get to see Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Just having the time of his life with these controls. Look at his silly red nose, I love that guy. Classic Robotnik. He hardly looks threatening, doesn't he? Reminds me of uh, how at the beginning of the comics, the IDW comics, you see him, uh, you see Dr. Eggman having lost his memory. And he, uh, he basically reforms himself and turns into this really nice old guy who fixes machines. And, well, he fixes everything for this cute little town. And they call him Mr. Tinker. And he actually, like, he truly did lo lose his memory. And he's having a, the time of his life just being nice to these people and fixing everything. Being, making himself useful as Mr. Tinker. And I thought that was a really cool little idea to do with Dr. Robotnik, to show the kind of person that he could have been. Plus, Mr. Tinker's design is just the cutest thing ever.
Man, this is one long bus battle. I'm not very good at it, aren't I? And because we don't have all the, the Chaos Emeralds, I'm scared that this will be the last boss. It could be. Okay, there it is. Nah, okay. I figured it couldn't possibly be the last boss. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to hear. Oh, right, I remember something. You can just do this. <laughs> that's a little cheap, isn't it? So what now? Luna, you're hiding the screen, BB. Oh no, my ring! Oh no! Okay, I gotta get my timing... I gotta get the timing down. love this music track so much. What an ominous boss track, I love it. <laughs> this is crazy. I love how you can just do that. You're like a saw blade, you know, just spinning. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I don't have any rings. So I guess you do have to fight the, the final boss without any rings after all. Just like in Sonic 2. Well, at least I have continues, so if I have to try it several times, we'll be fine. Come on, Tails. Headbang to the music. Hello? Oh. I see. Oh, you can actually get two at the same time this way. Okay, I'm just gonna position myself correctly. There you go. Okay. So he'll, he'll shoot the fire attack first, I think. Ah! Jesus! Whoa. Hmm. This is gonna be rough. I don't want the entire stream to be just me struggling to fight him, but I have to focus. Okay. You get to the right, it makes him appear. So, this robot, 
is it called the Death Egg Robot? Because in Sonic Forces, uh, they refer to these giant mechas who very much look like this guy as Death Egg Robots. And, you know, since this is the final boss you're fighting on the Death Egg, it would make sense. So that was like the very first appearance of a Death Egg Robot, I imagine. Okay, shoot the fire out of your nose, that's fine. Okay. Oh no, I jumped way too early. Okay, well I guess I'll be quiet while I do this. Tails, thank you for helping. That was awesome. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Calm down. No, I jumped way too early again. Oh. I panic. That's my problem. I gotta keep my cool. I guess having rings would be pointless anyway because as soon as you lose one, it falls off the ledge. So it's not like you can keep it anyway, you know? fire and then he's gonna shoot the fire out of his nose again no no Whoa. oh tails you scared me making him invincible for a second there I almost fell down the hole because of that whoa It's not over. Oh no. I have to do this now? I need rings. Oh lord, this part is difficult. I'm losing all my rings before I even make it to the bus. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm supposed to send the missiles flying back, aren't I? What? Aren't I, aren't I supposed to send the missiles flying into him? Oh, the face, of course. Oh, 
Oh, I'll never have enough rings for that. I'll have to try again for sure. Oh no. No, it's over. Well, at least we don't have to do the first part of the boss fight again. So I can just try to focus to, to uh, learn this part. getting anywhere close to the boss? Oh, I thought I was lining up perfectly there. Oh no. Come on. Shoot your missiles, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop. This is so crazy. Hmm. Is there a second form after this? Oh, uh, there's a second form after this? Oh no. Oh, welcome! Sorry I didn't see your comments before. I was so focused on the game, I'm so sorry. So, this part of the game, this is only the second time I ever make it here. The first time being last year when I played, when I, um, well, when I finally man managed to get here. So, uh, this is still very, very much unfamiliar to me. So you can expect me to die a little bit often, I'm sorry to say that. Hold on, this is a little bit awkward to read the chat, I'll change my setup. There you go. So you said, oh we're at the end already, seems I'm a bit late to the party. I got two, never completed it, I ended up getting stuck to the to the bus at carrier to bus at carrier the bus at carrier what do you mean the the bus at carrier do you mean um the bus on that huge plane at the end Oh my goodness, no, 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 I can't afford to do this poorly. I'm on a timer. Oh, this is stressful. Come on, hit yourself.
I really wish there was a way to, repl to replenish my rings while I'm doing this. Okay. So what comes next? Because the timer is still going down. Okay, there's rings. Whoa! Rings. Rings, come on! Oh no. Where are the rings? Ah, oh, there's barely enough. Oh. How, how to make anything more frustrating? Add a timer. Oh, definitely. It's super stressful. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off. This is really difficult. I want more rings! Oh my goodness. I'll need to do a lot better when I make it to the part where I have to send his own missiles back at him. Because that's the part where I waste the, mo the most time. Oh no, they went all around him? Come on! Come on, right into his face. Oh, please hit him. Oh, I'm not doing much better, am I? Okay, I have like 20 more rings than I did last time. Also, where does Heghead make, make money to get money to get to make all those? Isn't that a good mystery? I guess when you've got an army of robots to harvest resources for you, at some point you'll have the money you need. Oh, I just I just got a ram into him. That's it. Hold on, it might not be as bad as I thought. Yeah, unless I can, oh, I keep missing the rings. Oh no! Oh no! Rings, please! No! Rings! Oh no! Oh, I was doing so much better this time! Wait, you said... While I watch, listen, try to make characters, I lost when my Soul Calibur decided to corrupt memory files. All OC'd made there gone. Oh no! Aw oh, man, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. That must have wasted a lot of your time. Oh boy. This is not a good run. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Are there any rings up here or are they all down here? Like I feel like I'm not getting any this time. Oh, I really don't have a lot of rings. So 
So unless I... Unless I do really good at the missile part, there's not much hope. Oh, come on, man. These annoying little bullets. They're more trouble than the missiles themselves. Stop firing these little bullets. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need the rings, I need the rings. Come on, give me some rings, your animation is taking too long. I'll need, I'll need to really focus on this. Oh, it's so painful to see the rings, like, and to just miss them. Are we there? Oh, come on, stop it with the combo. were right there. Stop with the combo. Oh, they were down there. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It's over. Oh. It's done. Oh my goodness, that was stressful. Oh, nice catch, Tails. Sorry you had to sit through that. It must have been painful to see me fail over and over again like that. Currently, I try to rework one of my Aaron cars from Bleach. It will not be that easy. Masks of all Aaron car got complex parts. Oh, interesting. You're remaking characters from Bleach in Soul Calibur. I used to make so many Soul Calibur original characters back in the day of Soul Calibur 3. We had my friends and I had pretty much remade all of our original characters in Soul Calibur 3. 
<laughs> you say, nah, I would not do any better? Oh, you'd be surprised. I was doing pretty poorly. Like I was saying earlier in the stream, um, so I'm extremely familiar with Sonic 3. Like the Sonic 3 part is fine, but the Sonic and Knuckles part, oh my goodness. Like I barely ever played that one. So as soon as I made it to the end Knuckles part of the game, like all of my skills went down the drain. <laughs> Six is real good for creating custom characters, huh? Interesting. I'm gonna look into that. And you say, and I'm pretty bad at drawing, so yeah, this is as close as I can get with proper characters. Just like when you were making your characters in Sonic Forces. It's a great character builder to give you ideas for Sonic original characters. I really, really hope that they'll bring back something like a character creator from Forces in a future Sonic game. I hope they won't limit it to just that one time. It would be interesting if they explored that again, with even more customization. You're saying, yeah, Sebel is the only one I had to draw, and even then I had a hard model. I think it's good to work with a reference. You know? I think that most artists will find it's more wise to use models. It's the best way to like recreate something accurate and not fail in certain parts like of the design because if you don't use references for anatomy or for a pose, chances are if you're trying to make everything from scratch you're gonna mess up some part which you could have easily avoided that problem by just using a reference. It's good to also create from scratch from your mind for certain things. You don't use reference for every single thing, but just to get a general idea. It's very strange because we made it to uh, Doomsday Zone and I didn't have all the Super Emeralds. I only had all the Chaos Emeralds. So does it mean that to get Doomsday Zone, you don't need the Super Emeralds, you only need the regular Chaos Emeralds? You're, you're, you said... Fun thing. Malclad was the only one whose Resurrection Diablo I could not make in Soul Calibur 6. It was too complex, I had to commission it. Oh, one of your characters that you couldn't make in, uh, in Soul Calibur 6. Oh? Is that the ending screen you get if you don't have all the Super Emeralds? It probably is, isn't it? Hmm... I wonder if it was supposed to hint at the next game, because you know how in Sonic Mania, the Egg Robos are the villains? So, and Sonic Mania is the direct sequel to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so it would make sense to uh, to show the Egg Robo at the end there. Hmm. I wonder if you don't get that if you have all the Super Emeralds. That's something I'll have to look into. I should switch to Sonic Adventure 2, that was my plan. I wanted to finish Sonic 3 and then move on to SA2, so let me fix my streaming setup there for a moment. So, let's go check up on our little Chow, which I want to introduce to you. Alright. Oh, right, the reason why I was turning the camera is because I want to check the store before I go to the Chow Garden. Alright. I'll be able to check it out after. So let's see here. Shiny green egg. Hmm. What should I get? <laughs> I could make my chow wear a frickin' pan on its head, or a bucket. 
I'm not sure. I want to show you. So yesterday I raised no, it wasn't it was not yesterday, it was the day before. I raised a new chow. I found this shiny red egg. And um I asked the chat how we should call him. And so this new chow is actually the son of Dr. Eggman. The way we see it, he's Dr. Eggman's precious little son. And we wanted a name that had like an egg theme to it. So we called him Humdum. So I'd like you to, to meet little Humdum for Humpty Dumpty. Look at that mean face. This is our little Humdum. So now, thanks to him, we have a chow of every kind. We have flying, swimming, power, and running. So yeah, here he is, the newest addition. There you go, buddy. It's all good. I wonder what level I want to start with. Hmm. What am I in the mood for? Uh, let's start with Green Forest, just for fun. Chow are interesting? Yeah, surprisingly, I never thought I'd like the Chow Garden. When I challenged myself with completing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle to completion, like 100%, let me tell you, I never expected I would enjoy raising the Chow. I thought it would be, like, very uninteresting, but it's surprisingly fun. Now I understand a little bit better why people like this part of the game so much. Maybe it's just nice to look after something and to watch it grow and to see all the different things they can evolve into because there is a, there's a lot more depth to it than I thought. Oh, one of these guys down there survived, huh. Oh well. What are we gonna do? It is what it is. Nice, okay. Doing good so far. No, I wanted the capsule. Oh well. The, oh, the homing attack decided that it was not the capsule I was aiming for, apparently. wondered that part with the bungee rope it feels very odd like there's something you're probably supposed to do there but I never dare press anything because I feel if I try something I'll probably die so I'm like I always just go all the way to the to the bottom and hit that balloon but there has to be something you can do there Oh, I think that was a good run. Let's see. Two cool. minutes and 41 seconds and 18,350. Okay, so it was my best score so far, but it was not my best time. At least it was a new record in terms of the score, which is also something I pay attention to. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
So, Dustbringer, it's time for me to ask you a question. So, which piece of Sonic Media is your favorite? And it can include the games, the shows, or the comics. What is your favorite piece of Sonic Media? I'm just curious to know. did that wow that was messy whoa what did I do <laughs> why did I do that okay let's try this again I just want to take a second to read what you said before I continue the level. Oh! Oh, that was much better. So, hmm, hard to say. I honestly enjoyed all, but one I am most familiar has to be the games. Comics do not publish in Finland, and the only show I watched properly was Sonic X. So tell me, what are your thoughts on Sonic X? I'd love to know what you think about that show because I only just barely started watching it and I have an opinion for the beginning of the show. I watched about 15 episodes so far. But I'd love to know what you think before I get into that. Whoa! Oops. Whoa, no, don't do this again. Oh, hi Nova! How are you? <laughs> I was not expecting you to drop by. I was talking with um, the player for Sebil on Spotlight and asking him his thoughts on Sonic X. Since I'm very unfamiliar with that show, I had asked him um, what is his favorite piece of Sonic media, or th at least the one he was most familiar with, and... Um... Oh! Oh, hi Andrew, I thought it was Nicole. <laughs> you can't blame me for getting confused there, though. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. You missed the end of Sonic 3, my friend. And trust me, it was a mess. I died a gajillion times in Doomsday Zone. Whoa! But you prevailed. Yes, I did prevail in the end. Just took me a million tries. Like all of my continues, literally. Oh, did you guys see? There was Big the Cat there. Just napping in the trees. Napping in the trees under the rain like that, that's gotta be relaxing. Okay, I'll have a minute to read chat now. I fell behind a little bit. <laughs> uh, Big does know the island is going to explode. <laughs> You guys know something like that would never kill Big. <laughs> it's like if he's oblivious to something, it does not affect him, basically. That's the rule he operates on, it seems. So let's see. Um, why? Okay, so. Sebel, or Dust. Let's call you Dustbringer here. You were saying 
While I could not care that much for the human main character, uh, have to like... Okay, you have to like Eggman's, Eggman's robots. And things get more fun when Rouge shows up. Huh. See, I started Sonic X a, quite a long time ago. I think that was b back when I first finished Sonic Adventure 2. Because I was in a really big Sonic mood, I had like this craving for more Sonic. Oh, I had finished Sad AM, and I wanted to watch more Sonic. So I got into Sonic X, thinking it would satisf satisfy that craving. But Sonic X is a really strange show. Like, I don't understand why they felt the need to have this story where Sonic and the gang get transported into this alternate world. Whereas in Sonic Adventure, Station Square just exists in Sonic's world. It's not like a separate dimension. And then they have them live in secret with Chris in that mansion, and it's like... what? Why did they choose to have this story where you have all the Sonic gang hiding in a little boy's house, like some sort of E.T. parody? Is And I'm sorry to say, but I find that most episodes Whatever's happening is not that compelling. It, it really has a hard time keeping my attention, and I mean... It's disappointing to say that because I would love to be invested with, what, with what's happening, but more often than not, the episodes are just... are just not interesting. It's a shame because in Sat AM, there were very few episodes that I found were on the weaker side. But Sonic X, the beginning, is so freaking slow. It's hard to get into it because of that. You're saying, yeah, I understand what you say, some episodes could have been better. You mean, the, adventures, the Adventures of Chris Thorndike Fest. Featuring Sonic, sorry. I'll turn on the chat on my cell phone because when I look at it on my, sec on my second monitor, the font is way too small, so this should help. Yeah, there is way too much focus on that Chris character, and he doesn't do much for the story. And it's... how is Chris supposed to be a reliable character? He's this rich kid whose parents are never around because his mother is a famous Hollywood actress and his father is the CEO of this huge company, and it's like... How are we supposed to relate with that kid? His only struggle in life is missing his parents. But he's got like a loving grandpa who's also like this kick-ass inventor. Who basically Doc Brown in anime form. And you've got like this loving maid and butler who live with him. Like, he's got a really cool life. And he's got, and he's got Sonic the freaking hedgehog living with him. Like, ah. Uh. That being said, when Sonic took that little girl who was wheelchair-bound to see flowers on that island, that was great. Yeah, see, that was the very last episode I watched, and I did love that episode. That was, I think, the best episode in the series so far. I did like the one when they go to the beach and Amy makes a, a necklace of seashells for Sonic. And the necklace gets broken, like it gets destroyed by this robot that Eggman sent to the beach. And Egg me a Amy just flies into a fury. Because she's so heartbroken that she never got the chance to give that necklace to Sonic. And then, when she falls into the water and is... Well, she's in danger of drowning. Sonic, even though he's afraid of water, dives in to save her. That... That was a pretty good episode too. So there are moments in Sonic X that shine, but all the episodes are written by different people, so... You'll have some really good writers sometimes, and sometimes you'll have the more... average or straight-up boring episodes. I guess that's it's like that with pretty much every show. I mean, Pokémon has some great episodes, and then some really, really formulaic and boring ones. It comes with the territory, I suppose. Hut, 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 hut. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to destroy you, buddy. You don't get to live. Oh no, I missed my jump. Oh no. I wanted the golden beetle, but I got greedy. Alright, let's start this over. close. Jump shot. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, this part. Okay. Let me read. I saw that you said something here. I've been thinking about making some changes to Sonic Spotlight soon. One, whenever Sonic isn't in a thread, all the other characters should be asking, Where's Sonic? Two, Sonic needs to be louder, meaner, and have access to a time machine. What? <laughs> Why would you do that? I know you're kidding, but... Where did that come from? Is that a reference to something I'm not catching? Or was that in reference to something in Sonic X? Am I? Oh, I sure hope you're kidding, my friend. <laughs> The Simpsons, ah. What episode of The Simpsons are you are you making a reference to? Oh, Pucci the dog, yes. Pucci returned to his home planet, I remember that. The one character in Itchy and Scratchy that the kids hated because he was basically just there to be a role model and like, oh, I do remember that. And he was voiced by Homer Simpson. And Homer was heartbroken that the kids didn't like his character. I do remember that now. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Skyrail is a short level, but it's so easy to screw it up. It's very much like uh, Metal Harbor. Metal Harbor is also a very short level that's easy to screw up. want that golden beetle though. Oh, come on, I keep missing up that jump. It's so frustrating. Oh, 
Okay, let's do this again. Whoa. Okay, come on, Nick. Finally. Whew, that's what I was trying to do the whole time. The camera had a hard time keeping up there for a minute. Ooh. Ha, huh. imagine if Sebel would manage to latch on Sonic and use him as his host. So, could you explain exactly what you mean with that? Because I don't think I know your character very well yet. Because I noticed that on... Um, on Spotlight, you have this character called Sebel who has this big ship and he controls an army of badniks. And he very much seems like like um, like an evil mastermind. But when you say latch on to Sonic and use him as his host, what do you mean exactly? Oh, no, 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 that's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm not gonna start the level like that. Much better. Whoa. I never, I never knew the ghost could grab onto you when you were on the rail like that. Let me go!
Whoa, Luna. You scared me. Oh no, the golden beetle. Oh, I was doing so great this run. Why didn't it? Mm, nope. I'm not gonna get upset because of that. It's still a pretty good run nonetheless. If I got that golden beetle, it might have been my best one so far. Oh well. Oh, and now I'm screwing up this too. Ah, Sebel, the Capuchin, is actually just a host. Real Sebel is the metal part of him. It's like Neo Metal Sonic's liquid form when he changes form, but parasitic Sebel. Cybernetically enhanced, bio-organic intelligent life form. It's a metallic parasite who feeds on bioenergy. Oh. Okay, so your, your monkey character is actually possessed by this entity. It's not his real personality, then. Ah, I see. Man, you guys always come up with the most... Ex like... These ideas are so original and I'm always impressed with what you guys can come up with for, for these characters. Like, all the, um, all the original characters on the server with all of these really cool superpowers that they have, I'm always really impressed with that stuff. I don't have a lot of imagination for superpowers. Whoa! It's always been my big problem. Because, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of humbling to say that, but even though I'm someone who loves to create and come up with stories and stuff like that, when it comes to coming up with completely original ideas, it's always been scary for me. Because uh, I find a lot of people are very good at coming up with original ideas, whereas, um, how can I say this? I don't know if I should say I'm more conservative in my ideas, but yeah, I don't I don't really know how to how to express it. It's like for example, when I look at original when I look at mecha designs in shows, if I look at the old Gundam series, the designs are very simple. So everything you see on the Gundam looks like it serves a purpose and it's easy to understand their design, which is something I really like. But then, when you get into the more modern series, they have all these crazy, super detailed designs, and I have a hard time figuring out what does what. Like, it's such a puzzle figuring out these designs, and that, for me, that's when you lose me. And when I see original characters who have very, very complex backgrounds, sometimes I'll be intimidated the same way I can be by one of these mecha, with really complex designs, you know? I don't know if it even makes sense because it's mostly like a personal thing. But that's how I always experienced it. I remember when I saw Oswald on the server. I really liked his character right away because his whole thing was so simple. It's like, he's this crow who's got an agency where they'll, they'll do pretty much any odd jobs. And I was like, that's so open-ended to be interpreted in many different ways that it has a lot of potential. But I remember there was one person who joined the server and he had this extremely complex character. Like, um... Oh my gosh. I can't even remember what the username was, but it was... It was that one guy, Andrew, who would constantly ask you to start role-playing with him and wouldn't give you time to ha even have your lunch. Oh. 
I said crow, huh? <laughs> I said crow and I meant owl. He's definitely an owl. The only reason I said crow is because he's a completely black owl and I got mixed up. Thank you for correcting me there, Dustbringer. And also, Giorgio the Tea Drinker. Welcome! Nice to meet you. Ultimate victory. What brings you to the stream? Select a stage. I don't know if I lost my train of thought there. Trying to explain. Oh yeah, so... On the server, I remember there was this person who joined who was very pushy when it came to wanting to start to roleplay, but his character was this extremely complex being that was like something that fell from the sky or that appeared from another dimension. And um, he needed someone to find it so that it would latch on to that person and like... Uh, it was so overwhelming and I, I couldn't... I didn't know how to approach his character because it was like... It was already so established in his mind what his character was and what it would do that it had no potential for real roleplay. The guy brought this super powerful being into our world expecting the whole story would start to revolve around it. And I don't think that's a good way to join a community. I don't know if I'm making sense here, but I just figured it was a bit much. But maybe that's just how I experienced it. Then again, it is my first Sonic roleplay, and I'm kind of unfamiliar with the kinds of characters that people tend to create for these. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised at a lot of what I saw on the server, but there were also, like, occasions where I saw some specific people join the server and their characters were not very, um... How should I say this? I don't want to be mean in the way I'm saying it. It's not the intent. They were very... Hmm... They didn't leave much for roleplay. Like... If you're gonna... If you're, if you're gonna create this character who feels like he's a main character... To join a server where it's meant to be a community thing... It's probably not gonna work. Because I think when you're joining a community like that, you have to think... What kind of character should, could I create to make the Sonic world even more fun? Like, what kind of character would be fun to roleplay with? That's what you have to think. Like, what kind of challenges can I bring to the heroes if I'm gonna play a villain? Or what can I contribute to the team if I'm gonna play a hero? I don't know. Maybe that's just how I see things. Okay, let's take a moment to read the chat. Hmm, I gotta turn on my phone again because the chat on my screen is way too small. It might be time for him to find a new host soon. One Mobian only provides so much energy. And then you say... Yeah... I also tend to usually keep my character's powers under certain scales or within limitations. Usually. Looks at McLeod. Nemesis Prime. What is Nemesis Prime? Duskbringer. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't know if that's what it was called. Because I remember... This, uh, the person I'm talking about had found Sonic Spotlight through my, through DeviantArt because he saw my drawings and he wanted to join in. But, um, when he joined in, it turned out to be, oh, it was a mess. I don't have other words to say it. Hmm. 
made me really uncomfortable because, well, the person had found the server because of me. And they were starting to cause troubles for trouble for some of the admins. So it made me feel partially responsible. But I can't really control who's going to decide to join Spotlight if they see some drawings I did for Spotlight. Like I'm working on a fan animation, not fan animation, a fan comic for YouTube. And I can't wait to upload the finished version. And it's a Spotlight fan animation. But like, I'm kind of scared that it could bring more people to Spotlight and then we'd have a repeat of what happened that time, you know? But then again, the internet is a free place and everyone is free to join, so... I guess I should just be happy that Spotlight is getting more attention. Whoa, no, 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 I'm never gonna make it to the top. Nope. Oh well. Farewell. Basically, black version of Optimus Prime. When I see the gun truck, it keeps reminding me of it. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah, maybe, why not? Man, it's so heartbreaking when you make it to the end of Metal Harbor and you screw up the rocket part. It breaks my heart every time. Man, wouldn't it have been cool if in the Sonic movie, you know how um, Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic movie had this big truck he would use to move his, like his, um, all of his stuff around? Wouldn't it have been awesome if they used that truck in a chase scene in San Francisco as a reference to Sonic Adventure 2? Maybe it would have been a little too obvious. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, okay, much better. Ooh. Oh no, I'm missing all the capsules! Yes. That was cool. I love Metal Harbor. Even though that rocket part of the end at the end is stressful, I still love that level. Thank you. 
No. <laughs> I almost went right into the acid there. That was messy. Whoa! Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was so afraid that they would become electrified again that I just rushed through it and I missed the light dash at the end. with me please oh that felt bad okay let's start this over Your PS4 controller ran out of juice while you were creating your character? Man, that's unfortunate. Can't you just plug it in? Okay, I got greedy there, I'll admit. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, my light dash is not working right now. Okay. Uh oh. 
gonna be a problem. No. <laughs> it, it almost I almost did it again. my rings to this guy. Okay. Oof. Too close for comfort. No! Oh, why did I do that? Hmm. Okay, let me let me catch up. Can't find the cord. Brother has probably probably has it as cell phone charger again. Well, at least got one made after McLeod's remake remake after before that. Tomorrow that one resurrection you're mentioning a lot of characters that i'm not familiar with are they all inspired by bleach because i've never seen that anime oh off to a bad start huh doing Sonic oh no cameras all messed up now oh I'm playing so poorly ah yeah 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 okay okay this I believe calls for a little break. So, I'll be back in just a moment.
Okay. I'm back. So you were saying? Yeah, I made a truckload of OCs, Aran cars, and their released state. How should I explain it? It's like supersonic form in a way. But released form is more of an original form. Replace Chaos Emeralds with a weapon, and they can transform on calling a release command and usually doing some action with it. Names of resurrection usually are in Spanish. Huh. Okay, I think I understand it. And you're a big fan of these forms for these characters? I wonder if I should play something different. Like, I, um... How should I say this? I suppose... Because I started playing Sonic 3, like at the beginning of the week, I wanted to finish it, and that's taken care of at least. But it's been a long time since, I mean... Finish Adve Sonic Adventure 2 has been finished for quite a while. I just haven't thought of another game I'd like to stream just yet. Well, there is one game that I would like to stream because I've been in the mood for it lately. But I'm not sure it would be such a great game for streaming. It's Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo. Did you ever play that? Yoshi's Island? I don't know why, but the last few week the last few weeks even, I've been in the mood for this game. I keep thinking about it and listening to the soundtrack. And I figured maybe I should just stream it. The one with Baby Mario? That's right. Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo. When I was a kid and I discovered this game, I loved it so much. The art style in the game, like, really spoke to me. It's such an expressive and fun art style. And it really gave a lot more personality to the Mario characters. Like, I remember how expressive the bosses were. Like, that giant Koopa, that giant Koopa Troopa that you fight. And every time you shoot eggs at him, as he's like losing his balance and he, he risks like falling on his shell. He has like this teary eyed expression like he's crying. <laughs> it was as a kid I loved how the bosses were expressive in the game. And I remember particularly loving the uh, giant piranha plant boss. Seeing that thing like the little piranha plant go into the water and then seeing that giant piranha plant with like thorny vines emerge from the water. I loved that as a kid. I used to draw that piranha plant boss all the time. Man, so many good memories of Yoshi's Island. Like, I remember the first time we rented the game. It was, uh, I was at my grandma's place. Whoa! No, 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 you say no to it. So yeah, I was at my grandma's place and um, man, I just loved that game so much. I remember sitting at the kitchen table with my grandma and redrawing everything I'd seen in the game. Like, I really liked when you got a um, an icy watermelon power-up and then Yoshi would like have this icy breath that would turn the enemies into ice and then when you walked into them they just shattered into little ice fragments. I loved that animation. Like there were so many creative ways to dispose of your enemies in that game. Ah, I love it. It was really hard to 
go back to playing Super Mario World after that because Yoshi basically had nothing he could do in Super Mario World compared to Yoshi's Island. You're going to bed? Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night for my stream too, to be honest. I was feeling a bit lonely and wanted to stream tonight because I figured might as well do that if it's Friday night, like, it would suck to just spend my evening alone. So I'm glad I got to speak with you. And it's cool that Andrew dropped by for a little bit of the stream too. But I think it's time to call it a night. There's a comic book that Andrew sent me that I've been meaning to read too. So I think I'll get on that. He's been introducing me to a ton of comic books, so... It's nice. It's taking me into, like, a new kind of fandom that I never really got into. So, Dustbringer, I'll really... I'll, I thank you for being there during this stream, even though uh, I was not at my best. You saw me fail at a lot of boss fights and a lot of stages this time, so I'll try to do better next time. Thanks for sticking around. Have yourself a great evening and have a great weekend too. And I'll see you next time. Take care.